All right, thanks, Super Mom. Hey, as the saying goes, one man's trash is another man's treasure. And that statement definitely rings true at the Education Fund's annual charity auction. The Art of Found Objects, where over 150 one of a kind creations by Miami Dade County Public School students and teachers will be on display. Joining us today are Linda Leisht and Gloria Parlay to tell us all about this wonderful, wonderful event. When is it happening, Linda? So, May 24th. Okay. Um, the Education Fund, we work to help improve the public schools. And so, we're holding this huge auction. And it's a lot of fun. And all of the proceeds go back to the public schools to support the art auction, support the art education at the schools. And um, we brought a couple pieces for you to see. This one's actually um, made by a teacher, right? This is made by a teacher and you can see the buttons and the wire and the newspaper. Those are all materials that come out of our free supplies warehouse sponsored by Ocean Bank, the Ocean Bank Center. And it's a 10,000 square foot warehouse. Companies donate their excess inventory and teachers come get what they need for their classroom. I have to, my mother, I've, I've said this before on the show, my mom's been a, a teacher for many years, so I worked many summers with her, I would go to her classroom, we'd go and pick up the bulletin board paper. A lot of these products, the teachers are purchasing it out of their own pockets because they want to make sure that their classrooms look beautiful for the first day of school. Gloria, you are an art school teacher, so you know how important this is yep. and how valuable the 10,000 uh, square The art budget is, is the first one to go a lot of times. We don't get a lot of money to get new supplies for the kids to be able to do things. So going to the, the, the warehouse, we get paper that that different companies donate to us. We get paper, paint, and we start inventing and we make things up with recycled <laughs> materials and stuff. It's really great. And with the art auction, I'm able to sell it. And with that money, I'm able to go buy other supplies that I'm able to use in the classroom. And, and, and you know, the art classroom is the favorite classroom of all the students, I have to say. It's, it's, my students love to come to art. They, even if they're sick, they want to come. And I'm privileged that I love my job. I, I'm at a great school, so. Yeah. What school are you teaching? At Royal Palm Elementary. Royal Palm Elementary. And, and Gilbert Porter like, Elementary also. And you actually made this with one of your yes, students, Yes, one of my right? students, Caitlin and I, we made that. That's a water bottle. And we um, oh. paper mache it and put it all together. The beads are all together from Look at that. And there'll be over 150 different pieces at the art auction, as well as luxury items and hotel stays. And that's, it all, as I said, it all benefits the children, which is why the Children's Trust and Bacardi is providing all of the alcohol. And Whole obviously Foods, has, Whole is Foods, Foods is all the munchies. food. And uh, it's just a great event. And people can go to our website, www.educationfund.org. Okay. And if they want to support the organization, they can donate or they can purchase tickets and come and have a great time. You're going to have a great time, everybody. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you so much, Thank Linda. You. Thank you so much, Gloria, for everything you do. For Thank more information you. on the Education Fund, you can log on to theeducationfund.org. You can also follow them on Twitter. Their handle is at educationfund and use hashtag findarthere. Thanks so much. Sherry, over to you.